students. I hope you all are fine and doing well. So we will revise some basics of English grammar from class 3 to 7. So today our topic is noun. First of all, we learn the meaning of noun. Nouns are the words that mean people, places, animals or things. They are also known as many words. I repeat, nouns are the names of people, places, animals or things. They are also known as naming words. For example, Anu, Delhi, Tiger, Pencil, etc. Here, there is a sentence in which you can understand it more in detail. Anju will go to Mumbai tomorrow. In this sentence, Common noun. Common noun does not specify names of people, places, animals, or things. It is only common names of people, places, animals, or things. For example, girl, car, park, etc. Here in this sentence, the girl is playing in the park. In this sentence, common noun is girl and park. I am not giving any information, further information about the girl, which girl it is, or which park it is. Now here, second one, proper noun. Names of specific person, place, animal or thing. Proper noun always begins with a capital letter. Proper noun means proper names of person, place, animal or thing. Here is the example. Aditi, Taj Mahal, Mumbai, Friday, Republic Day. Now in sentence, last Christmas we went to Delhi. This shows that we went to Delhi. Yes, it specifies the name of the place and also it specifies that during last Christmas we went to Delhi. Now third one is countable noun. Uh, countable nouns are the nouns that we can count. It has singular and plural forms both. We use a and many, some, any few before these numbers. For example, a bird, ten birds, a book, three books. Now, fourth one, uncountable nouns. Nouns that cannot be counted but measured in units are called uncountable nouns. Many things we cannot count but we can measure it. Okay, such things uh, comes under uncountable nouns such as air, wood, weather, milk, sugar, oil. Say for example, we cannot say one sugar. We cannot count the kilos of sugar, right? But we can say one kilo of sugar. We can say a bottle of juice. Now next one is collective noun. Collective noun are the names of groups of people, animals and things. Certain groups are given certain names. For example, a team of players, a flock of sheep, a bouquet of flowers, a bunch of grapes. The group of players is known as team, the group of sheep is known as flock, here the group of flowers is known as bouquet and the group of grapes is known as bunch of grapes. Now, the next one is abstract noun. Noun that mean ideas, qualities and feelings are called abstract noun. We can feel it. We cannot touch, we cannot taste, we cannot see or hear these concepts. We can only feel it. For example, expression of anger, love, generosity, honesty, friendship. These all things are feelings. Sentence, the brave army men fought in the battle. Yes, we know that the army men are brave, but we need to feel it. So, the next is concrete form. Things that can be experienced through any five senses. Things that can be experienced through any five senses that can be seen, touched, tasted, smelled or heard. Uh, it is called concrete noun. 
For example, I ate an apple. Okay, I ate an apple. I can eat it. Next one, put some sugar in the tea. To add some sugar in the tea, we have to um, take the sugar and add it in the cup. So in this session, we have learnt about now and the types of now. And uh, thus we have ended up with this session. So we will see you soon in the next